Final, you're nearing the end. A corner opponent will be surrounded by soul shields, and so will not listen to what you have to say. It will probably pain you to condemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shields. A high speed dispute battle where you beat down a panicked opponent's excuses and nonsense. I like how when you're actually getting the correct answer, you have to actually beat them, but when you're just picking a wrong person, everyone will just pick the wrong person and there's no even argument there. As if anyone has to be convinced when it's this obvious. That's the bullet time, but I'm sorry, the panic talk action. So they changed the name of it? Um. Yeah. Panic talk action. So we'll short it to PTA. During PTA, you must destroy all of your opponent's soul shields so you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that, you must destroy your opponent's remarks while following the tempo of the song. Oh, right, yeah, they, they changed it, basically, though, so it's more personalized in this one. Time your button presses with the tempo marker as it moves across the screen. Match the tempo marker by pressing the B button. And you will be able to lock onto the opponent's remark. If you keep pressing it, you will be able to lock onto the opponent multiple remarks at the same time. Afterwards, you press the B button in time with the tempo marker. I will intercept the locked on our mark and destroy it. By destroying their marks, you'll be able to damage the soul shields, protecting the opponent and destroy them. However, if you cannot destroy their mark within the time limit, you'll end up getting hurt. During PTA, you can press the start to move the fed, but for this PTA, just focus on pressing the B button and wait for another time for the other features. Do this consecutively, you'll start a combo. Keep this going, you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll find yourself in a tempo down situation. When the song changes, the tempo changes. This will alter the timing for each button press. Please be careful. Last but not least, let me tell you about the final blow. If you destroy all your opponent's soul shields, they will be start to give their final argument. And if that happens, four words will be displayed on the top, bottom left, and right at the sides of the screen. Each one of these four words corresponds to the B, Y, X, and A button. If you press the buttons in the correct order, you'll be able to compose the words of your final strike. Please make your argument while searching for the words that will trump your opponent's final argument. Also, if you don't deliver your final strike within the time limit, the opponent's soul shield will recover. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. The iron skewer is the weapon in the hiding in the kitchen for the easiest way to slip it by. But Yaki and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started. Which means with the weapon already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it, under the floorboards? Could it have been an unexpected place? What would that be? Where do you hide a long iron skewer? On the fence, in the oven, think carefully. I'm going to reveal the to tear to the glutes of evidence that proves he's the killer. Panic talk action. Get him to shut the fuck up. Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Paris Hilton! <laughs> Here's Hilton. Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Paris Hilton! I no idea if I'm doing it right. Unforgivable! Shut up! It says to press B. Impossible. After you target. Not Saying you're missing a lot. Yeah, I don't. Where would the weapon be? <laughs> okay, right. The X and B buttons are swapped. <sighs> the X and Y buttons, I mean. <sighs> I forgot that they swapped the A and B in the. Shut up. God, that's awful. It's fine, just try again. Where would the weapon be? Um 
on the <laughs> Okay, I fucked that one. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> It's a very well-known thing in the Danganronpa fandom that everybody will fuck this up. Nobody gets it right the first time. Meat on the bone? Yeah, there you go. That's the right one. Meat on the bone. I <laughs> fucked up like three <laughs> times before I got it right. I was like, okay. on the bone meat? like. I um... said on the meat bone because I figured that made sense. But like the first time I fucked up purely because the buttons are swapped. The A and B and the X and Y are swapped. Oh, yeah, it's just good. I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this. Nonsense. Where would the weapon be? So, um, it is a Y. You fucked it up already. Yeah, fucked that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna lose this because of fucking this. I like one of these mechanics less than the first game. I mean, this mechanic's pretty good. You know, if your controller no, I, wasn't I, busted, I, it'd be fine. Well, not, but My control- the settings weren't both. Yeah. So, how do I do this? How do I shoot? It's A. Do you, huh. I think you're just messing up the rhythm. Okay. <laughs> it said B during the tutorial thing. Well, again, that's just because your settings are messed up. <laughs> Why the fuck does it pop up with B? It pops up with A right here. And that was my confusion. Where would the weapon be? Okay. Um, meat on the bone. There you go. You know that big giant piece of meat that was in the kitchen? That's where yeah, it was. So, so I was staring at it while we went in there with Biaki. I was like, ooh. Ooh. Piece of meat on the bone. Ooh. <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. In a place like that? Th- that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we overlooked. But in fact, the only place he could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Or, you know, under the building? Are they forgetting the fact that there's an entire under area where we didn't look for? Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on Yeah, the but to be fair, again, Gundam said he didn't see anything down there. Yeah, but he could have moved it afterwards. Before it doesn't matter. What now? We're gonna went down there after, though. Yeah, and after he could have put it anywhere, because we weren't searching for it. He could have put it in a fucking vent. I mean, yeah, but somebody would have seen this man walking around with a bloody fucking skewer. He could have gone to the kitchen and shoved it in one of the vents in the kitchen. There are a hundred different places it could be. Yes, but everybody was looking around already, investigating the murder. Okay, but he managed to get it back to the meat? Yeah, he just shoved it in the meat. It's the same room. Yeah, it's easier to shove it into a vent. Yeah, and we still would have figured out what it was. Yeah, but I'm saying that this part, this entire part of the trial doesn't matter. We already know who it is. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer Also, he probably figured if he just hit it somewhere like that, it would be found. Considering everybody was scouring the fucking building to look for clues and stuff. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing. It's covered in human blood. Now, hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. I'm already eating it. That doesn't seem physically possible. Uh, a bear that eats meat. Ibuki. Now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, no. oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! Something inside the meat. 
Look what came out! <laughs> Isn't that... Is that... an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. Why did this happen? You all set me up. You guys set me up so you can blame this on me. What do you mean? Jeez, what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? I'm just curious why Terry Terry did this. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? You're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth, fast food eating hicks. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Let's just deal with Nagato later. More importantly, we should first. Once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Hey, we're gonna make a comic book? Yes. Go over the entire incident. And then I can prove Terra Terra's crime. That's right. If we don't do that, we can't put we can't end this no matter how much time passes. Yes, we can. You would vote me up if I, wait, would, would they vote me up? Um... If I, if I failed? I think so. That's still stupid. So, we need to do it. So it's fun to come to this, my throb is... Throb? What? My throb is just... <laughs> <laughs> what?! I mean, it's the rules person, they... They do what they want. <laughs> I was wondering if I misread that or not. Okay, the closing argument. In this phase, you have a completely summary of the case. You have to reproduce the order of events of the case in the form of a comic book. This reproduction is maybe Hachime's imagination. There will be gaps here and there. Gaps are areas where a number of pieces are missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the truth. Uh, panels provided. Around three to five truth panels make up one set. Inside the one set, there will be correct panels placed among incorrect panels. If you use up all the correct panels contained in one set, it will switch to a new set. After that, it will, if you fill in all the holes, you'll be clear of the challenge. I'm pretty sure some of you have already noticed, but it'll be difficult to complete with so many gaps, but once you fill in, it'll become much simpler. For those of you who have played the previous game, you might hesitate at first, but it's basically the same concept. Now then, when playing and solving the closing argument, there's a certain trick. If you move the reticle on the gaps of each page, it will display hints at the top of the screen. This type of hint will ask what kind of scene is drawn in that gap. Also, if you move the reticle on the truth panel, it will display a hint as well. This hint displays the s explains the scene contained in that panel. Put together these two hints and think carefully. Of course, don't forget that there will be a time limit. Well then, good luck and have fun! Closing argument. Begin. Stop one. Um. So, what do you think that first one is? Uh. I would. The first guess. set is showing where everyone is at the beginning yeah, of the I'm party. I'm guessing it's this one. No. I mean, she's actually... Okay. Also, unlike the last one, this one will tell you immediately if you get it wrong. Where... They're, right now you're looking at it. It's showing where everyone was at the beginning of the party. What's the one person yeah. you don't see? Currently in this? Yes. I don't see either of these two people. What? Well, Akane's in the party. We know that. But there are a few people we knew who weren't in the party. There you go. Okay. Storage room before the blackout? No, that's later. Oh, you died. Oh, I lost. Yeah. Everyone doubts- what? I 
Hajime Hinata. But Hajime is not the blacken, too bad. The true blacken has graduated spoilerly. Congratulations, and now the others will all be punished. And that means you too, this Hajime. Is my hour end? Yes, I like no. to we'll never give up. Okay. I think that's the first Guess... one. Well, no, this one comes before this. So this one would be this one. Storage room before the blackout. Check the what does the meat that. one say? The picture of the meat. Big meat on the bone. I think maybe that's the that one. weapon in the big meat on the bone. I do appreciate it actually saying what these are supposed to be about. Also, I think you were right with that one in the beginning. With the timer. Here we go. Okay, so we know this one's fake. Yeah. Chiaki is the first one, so we'll take care of that. Irons wait, 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 go back there. I think that's the irons. Okay. Piaki is fucking fat ass face with the binoculars on. Uh, okay. Unlit portable stove. Closing the fire door. Okay, so this would be... Ibuki's hearing might be later. Once yeah. he's in the room doing the stabbing. It'll be the final one. Here's everything that happened in this case. Let's try going over the whole incident. Beginning with right after the party started. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly kept the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. The air conditioners in the office and dining room. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Yaku was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. What happened to Biakia in the last while since the when last he put game? On his night vision goggles, Biakia witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. Well, he became a he much better character before he died. The desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. It was natural progression from the end of the previous game where he was actually starting to accept that people were different and that's fine. He may be, you know, really talented and stuff and live in a different world than most people, but that doesn't mean that he's inherently just better than everyone else. Other people have different values and things and start understanding that, especially in the like school that's mode right. thing. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. 
While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. The idea that this guy is this tall. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakia found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but he had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment, the killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. So I'm guessing this was just like a retaliation thing where Teratu found out about this and went, oh hey, I'll kill the person who's trying to kill because they deserve it or something. But, like, I don't the know. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. Then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime, especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? Most of the time it just kind of like transforms like slightly so you see the difference. How about it? This was just a completely different model. Hmm. This is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> This is the end. Pekko hasn't said anything since like the beginning. Said she, every time somebody brings up what happened with her, she just says, let's stop talking about this. That's about it. <sighs> this is sad. Oh boy, you don't even know what <laughs> You know the extent of it. I did really bad on that last one. Yes, it's because you died. They retract a lot of points for that. Yeah. Uh, 612 minus. Let's see, I'm just doing a bit of math. Give me a second. 
How is that a B? Who knows? It's a 93% almost. Who knows? How is that a B? What kind of grading skill are they using? Japan, man. Just Japan. Oh, there's a lot of detail to this. Whatever. Oh. That would be why it's a B. It's because they reduced my score by 5,600 points. Wow, okay. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Whoops, I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> In the third game, you actually get to vote. Who will be chosen as the black I wonder Who why it took them that the long to let you vote. The yep. Purposely doesn't vote. <laughs> Punish me. Monokuma vote. Right this time, the black and responsible recommend Bianca Togami is Terry Terry Hanamera. No, 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 no. You are you serious? And of all the people, you're trying to say a Ponce like him is the one who killed Biakia? <laughs> but why? Why did you kill him? You got it wrong. It was a mistake, I tell you. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito from murdering one of you! Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I... I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and then... I had a weird laughter near the dining hall when I peeked over there. I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty putting the knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. So I place the irons and bought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. You know, if he really wanted to stop him, he would have undone any of those steps. It was an excuse. Plus, well, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. When that happened, when that happened, he. You caught me. Oh, I've been caught. What? Been I caught. Hey. What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Uh? <laughs> Dear two, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible. What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see, so that's well... what you think. But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all the Ultimates, and I admire them for being symbols Amazing. of hope. That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's <laughs> why I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. 
what are you saying? I don't understand at all. See? See, is it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you'll become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness. In order to see it, I'm going to become everyone's stepping stone. I want to make your hope shine. It's as simple as that. <laughs> That's right. I yearn for powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. Don't tell me you're actually serious. You don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. By the way, that's why. <laughs> Teru Teru. Yeah. Because he's... I got it. Yeah. I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright if this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. Wait, no way, no way! You, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? But... Isn't that what love is? Nagito, what's the meaning of this? Explain to me, I don't understand anything about the story at all. You see, if you had a favorite boxer, do you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? You better not be compared to that. Huh? Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong, and the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> For me, humans, killing is... is are, Killings are simply a tragedy, but for worthy humans, a trial as this can alleviate their status to an even higher. Wait, elevate. Their status to an even higher level. Amazing. It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's Great. trial. There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation to that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? It's not the same as killing for fun, but I guess it looked that way the same in your eyes. I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you don't mind when Terra Terra discovered your plan? Or... Perhaps that was intentional, too. Huh? Nagito wanted to involve us in the killing. Plus, it'd make... It'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Teru Teru? You expected to pique Teru Teru's curiosity, and you looked forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Well, you're basically right. It's true, I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. I'm trying to remember what voice I did for him. That was your doing as well? I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. This dude, he's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. That's right, that's why I tried to stop him, you know? But why? Why did you kill Byakuya instead? I don't know, because Nakti was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I aimed to thrust the iron skewer there. But why is Byakuya the one who died? Okay, the dogs are fucking... Oh my god, they're fucking wild lesbians. I will end you. But why is Byakuya the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagato, not him! Byakuya probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing the knife, and then in place of Nagito. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Byakuya was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? Because Byakuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. Guide you all. That much, I promise. C could it be in order to keep that promise? 
As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So, Byakuya gave his life to protect Nagito? Even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakuya's amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. Such and yet... Despair. I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. <laughs> what? But we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. Could it be... You knew Byaki would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The result of that were going to be... Were... That were going to be my fun for later. <laughs> just no kidding. Expected. But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Teru Teru. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime because he also had that strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting man, for. Man, imagine if this man met Nagi. Oof. He'd be on his <sighs> knees. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, mm. Some characters should never meet each other for very good reasons. I thought you might be the hope that could defeat any kind of despair. You thought that Teru Teru, the guy who was a babbling fool and trying to deny any of this was actually happening, might actually have been the true hope. Yeah, okay. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Byaki instead, you know? If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial had to be at this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this right. island. Those are my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Teru Teru? Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Teru Teru. <laughs> But you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. You will become my splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible. Sacrifice? Shut up. Shut up. Seriously, stop it already. I'm gonna go crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey. hey, it's no right for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this. Is it really okay? Huh? Whatever. It's better if we just fucking kill him off. Kill, he said. High scores are so violent these days. But that person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagito, it's Teru Teru. Oh. Yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> you didn't forget, right? Because I told you at the beginning. Right. If the Black and Cure loses, a fun punishment oh, awaits what? them. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. That was, how should I put it, an accident? Um, an act of self-defense? Um, not intentional. Anyway, I feel it's possible it's not my fault. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Okay. But isn't there something like sympathy judgments? Extenuating. Ex extenuating. Extenuating circumstances? Or maybe even probation? Impossible. I don't accept any of those claims. Th that's not... Okay. Hey, save me, guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito, so... Be honest, after you learned about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's why you- th that's what you thought, right? Wrong. You're wrong, I- There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. Teru, Teru. If only you didn't try to kill Nagito, Byakuya would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you try to commit murder? 
Answer me, Teru Teru. I just want... I just wanted to go I home. I to go back home no matter what! Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope's Peak Academy and come home. Ooh, about that. Ooh, about that. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I know that already. Yeah. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! I don't fucking know. But if we were told our memories were, if we were told our memories were stolen, that several years have passed since our first day. Then what happened to the Hanuma Dana? What happened to my mom, who's still waiting for me? So, you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! You're saying all along it's okay. I'll never believe something like that. So why? Wrong! I still don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It has to be a lie. I wanted to go That's... home! <laughs> I wanted to go home and confirm it. It was just to make sure it was all just a lie. I want to make sure that I still have a place to call home. The terror, terror, you! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that terror, terror didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it. Because he believed it. He needed to deny it. Damn it! If only I knew how he felt, something like this never would have happened. I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's why when I heard Nagato's plan, I found out he was going to kill somebody if I left him alone. That's why. That's why. Fine. So you wanted to kill the... So you wanted the first kill. You guess. It doesn't mean I want to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do. I ended up killing Byaki instead of Nagito. I, I see. I'm the one who went crazy. Teru Teru. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but as far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is boring. So, what? It seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. Jeez, get out of my way. Well now. There. Now that annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Hold on a second. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least I prepared a, I prepared a special, special punishment. punishment for Terra Terra Hanamura, the ultimate cook. Hey. Call me chef. No, wait, that's not what I. Please, please, please tell me at least what happened to the Hanamura diet to, to Mama. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Lies. Lies. I won't believe this. Boy, who's worried about his mom. It's all because of Nagato.
I like the execution music in this one more than one. Deep fried tear tear. Thanks, I hate it. So I tried looking it up, but I think somewhere um, people have always mentioned that the meaning behind this execution is that Teru Teru personally hated deep fried food. He thought it was like a cheap way to make food. He hated fast food. Yeah, so. Yeah. <clears throat> he got cooked by the way he hated most. Yahoo Extreme! <laughs> the adrenaline is rushing through me! Teru Teru! Damn it! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> How cruel! Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Huh? Didn't you learn anything new when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the whole no. class. When that happens, only then do you think about how, it how bad it feels to be badmouth. The same applies to murder. You're the one who drove him to do it. <laughs> so cool. This is just too cool. Nice. Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Why? Why didn't you tell Teru Two about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. You. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Hey, hurry up and tell us. What do you mean early when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. Huh? You're gonna do it, but telling them is kind of. <laughs> I never told you guys to tell you guys right away. Not fair. Of course. Uh, of course, I'll keep my promise to return your memory someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Huh? What the heck? That's not fair, they both... <laughs> Sorry, I haven't voiced Ibuki. <coughs> she doesn't really talk. Um, that's not fair, they both ran away? Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid. Terra Terra, you and stupid. Despair. An ending like this is just full of despair, a seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this... As the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. Why are you smiling? How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimates who inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't with me! Don't go sing creepy shit, I'll fucking kill ya! <laughs> Please, kill me any time. Huh? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. 
If Absol Hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. You. How messed up are you? However, if you're gonna kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. If you're a student of Hope Peaks Academy, then you're the symbols of Hope who possess the chosen right. talents. Then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Declaring... <sighs> Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer! Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byaki, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. Exciting. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, can I punch you? I just won't feel satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. I'm just gonna... It's just gonna be a waste of time if we keep what? dealing with him. Even Hajime hates me now? That stings. I felt you and I were quite similar. Is what is that? You hold a special feeling towards Hope Speak Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you! But how can you say that you're not? When Akuma said it himself, we don't know anything about each other's true <laughs> nature. Now, if it's true their school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing your true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Kane, please feel free to punch him. Titties. Aww. Hold on! Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, There is something else we must do. Something please else? Listen. We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is? Our best. You fiend. Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall all work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe. We must do right now. Aw, oh, sweetie, sorry. you think we're not gonna come back here? This is chapter one. Aw, oh, you sweet sever child. Yeah, there's only two chapters. There's one chapter that lasts a few hours, and there's another chapter which lasts a hundred hours as we try to discover who the real betrayer is. Cool. Easy. I am sorry. Okay. Sorry, I, I didn't realize we hadn't read that line yet. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, yes. right? Yes, that is right. Like... But what do we have to work hard at? I do yes. not know, but we must do our best. Jeez. Jeez, I don't get you at all. You some kind of moron? It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. Okay, <laughs> I need to check something. Your sweet summer children. Sweet Caroline. Well, I know, I'm just saying, you okay. got a lot of potential survivors here. As a heads up for the audience who wasn't watching any of that because I decided to cut it, good job, Feature Gabe, you got me. Um, I literally just wrote... Like, I had her write down who I thought would be a victim or a killer. I'm not guessing who will survive this. Because I really didn't think somebody in the last game would survive. Fucking idiot. Yeah. We, I think, I think we just hoped more than anything that uh -huh. he wouldn't. And uh -huh. then he did. Hope, huh? Hope, huh? Mm. So let's do our best. Motherfucker. Excuse me, okay. I already read this one also. Right, yeah. yeah. But it's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! Alright, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but let's do our best for now. 
fine. Very well, even if we are not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. Damn fiend, I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we know we were just cheap, meaningless, they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continue to say it over and over again like without stopping. I like thing up there is just a giant tablet. Uh-huh. Thus, the curtain has been fall had fallen upon the class trial, where Biakia and Teruteru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds to return to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. So, what do you think... So, already, by the way, just real quick, our first trial, much more emotional than the first one of the first game. Agreed. Um... Mind you, there was a deep sense of betrayal in that first trial, and that kind of hurt at the reveal. But then Kyoko actually helped lighten that blow to make it clear that she may have not had the guts to go through with it. Also, it just wasn't as emotional. Not That's fair. I, I was... like Mizuno more than I like Teru Teru, but... Yeah, I was more that so mama? saying, like... That mama? Oof. What do you mean? The, the last mama that he yells before he gets taken away. Oh, yes. Yes, agreed. I thought you meant his actual mama. I was like, what about his mama? Talking shit on his mom? <laughs> After explaining something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I totally looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was. The night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall in my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. And I will do anything for, for love. love. But I won't do that. This sky is connected anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's when it happened. As I stared at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare up at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? The no way in his eyes. Suddenly a giant laser beam. So it's still ticking down from that time? Mm-hmm. Chapter 1, Destination, Despair, End. Surviving students? Well, mind you, uh, that just gave me two end screens, by the way. What do you mean? I used the uh, dead man count for the end screens of these, which means that I just had both Biakia's dead screen for the, uh, actually three, because it also gave me everyone living. So I had the first episode or two where everyone was alive. I had the episode oh, where yeah. Biakia was dead, and then now for Terra Terra being dead. You have obtained a present, a three star badge. The wooden wooden stick. stick. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. And on that note, guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. This was a multi-part thing because how I'm handling class trials since they are very long now, I'm just chopping them up and posting them probably on either the same day or just like three days or four days in a row. Not even keeping the normal schedule apart because that's how I feel like handling it. Um, it'll, pro it'll probably give me more work to do, but, you know, it'll make these go out faster. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And next time, well, we have to listen to Nagito. Unfortunately.